This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. 700 Club! 700 Club! Yes! Wrestle Mayhem Show, the Red Run Hunt here. The one, the only, Doc, right here, telling you, welcome to the 700 Club of the Wrestle Mayhem Show. So many things, so many dongles. I don't even know what dongles is, but it sounds nice. It sounds like something they would have on Wrestle Mayhem Show. So many moments of a lot of great people, including Sorg's beautiful face. We have Mrs. Beautiful Face. We even had... Jordan Styles. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. But the thing is, it's a 700 Club. Come on into the party, too. Come on into the party. I don't even like you, but it's a 700 Club. Come on in here. We're talking the 700 Club. Russell Mayhem Show. A place where winners go. go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great place to be, and I'm so happy that you decided to join us. <laughs> Jerk. I'm glad he likes me. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 700. Burr, 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 burr. Thanks, Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, Sorgatron Media Studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk some wrestling with you. We have, oh, we have some familiar faces with us on video. But first of all, from the deepest, darkest uh, uh, upstate New York is uh, the only Mayhemmer with a, uh, a future endeavor letter from the WWE, uh, One Mad Mike. And I'm the only one wearing the merch. He is the only one wearing the merch. I wore wearing a couple days the ago. merch. Yours is in a lot better condition than mine. I need to get some new Mayhem shirts. I'd probably wear it less often than you do. By the way, av- available on uh, ProWrestlingTees.com, by the way. You can get that Thank merch. You. Yes. Watch out for those yeah. flash sales. Also back with us, he was just recently with us on the 14th anniversary show at the beginning of January. We did a thing. We knew this was happening. Chad the Shad, back oh. with us. Hello, hello, hello. I, we're just going to ask you about Edge in the first segment. That's why I'm here. And because, come on, like everybody had to check on you on Twitter, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and also yeah. back with the, us. Ran, the Randy Orton to Chad's Edge. Mm-hmm. The ran, <laughs> Randy Orton to Chad's Edge. Doc Remedy is back. Uh, I have voices in my head. Don't talk to me. What's, what you, I don't know if you're singing or whimpering this. That's song. how that's how the song goes. <laughs> that's how it goes. Yeah, no, this is I what like happens. The, uh, hey, hey, yeah, the, hey! <laughs> nothing you can say. I turn around, I spin around on a great big stage. <laughs> that's how it goes. Yeah, yeah the time is mine. Your turn is mine. Is that Mercy Drive? I think. Shit saying? and your bags. <laughs> <laughs> I can't open TVs in my free time. Hope you are not from the diva search, because you will be disgusted watching inside your bag. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Doc Remedy. It or, must be yeah, it I must be the wrestling mayhem show. And it is episode seven. Hundred. The seven hundred club. Seven hundred club dun, dun. is strong. I see you guys out in the chat room. Thank you for dropping in with us. And of course, thank you to the Rev Ron Hunt and Doc and Tony Kincaid that uh, uh, we got roped into that intro here uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, we have uh, we have some people that, that, that you know very thankful. Uh, um, some of the guys, some of our friends of the show, uh, dropped in some uh, a couple words. And we'll be uh, spoken that here throughout the show. Of course, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And as we've done for 700 times, you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can email us at that email address. Good times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also, 412-206-WMS0. The hotline is open. And, uh, of course, you can uh, uh, tweet us at Mayhem Show, uh, Facebook uh, page and group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great discussions happen on the Facebook group. And we're live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. A lot of other platforms as well, uh, Twitter, Twitch, 
uh, YouTube uh, as well. And if you're over there, a lot of the great discussion is happening on the Facebook page exclusively in the chat, uh, including Alex out in California, Tina up in Seattle, Dave from up north, Xander Gabriel from the uh, Xander Zone, and so many more are dropping in there throughout the night, and you guys can be a part of that discussion. Uh, you can subscribe to us on your favorite podcast place or uh, watch the video versions on our Facebook or YouTube page. And also, skip the thing, skip the thing. Thank you to our audio partner, the 405media.com, that for some reason is carrying us right next to Donald Trump coverage uh, every week and uh, playing us every min- every midnight uh, Eastern time. You can I catch believe up it's on the called latest. a palate cleanser. Sword. A palate cleanser? Okay. A palate really? cleanser. Okay. All right. I believe we are a palate cleanser located in Kansas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, you know, uh, by the way, Brandon, uh, uh, congratulations for the hometown team uh, winning the Super Bowl game um, on on Sunday. The Super Bowl game. Yes. Yes. The and Super whatever Bowl the, game. Super sports ball. Whatever state you reside. Whatever um, the Rock hosted. Whatever the Rock hosted. In Topeka, Wyoming, Kansas. <laughs> Little Rock. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> wherever. I saw, I saw an image that, that said the Chiefs were going to uh, Washington <laughs> for their celebration, and it was Washington State. <laughs> it was area, yeah, and it, the area was from Kansas <laughs> to Washington, Washington <laughs> State. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> go, like yeah! Starbucks. Uh, but anyways, you can also support us at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we'll get some extra content, including we were... Getting dirty with HDMIs. I guess that's the teaser for our pre-show. Uh, so with our, <laughs> with our friends today, um, so some of the guys are, are very excited to be producing that in their inbox, including our friends of the show at the uh, uh, fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Ooh, Ed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammerfist, And at the Poppy Club, Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Ponder, and Kyle Turner. As well I'm as our friends at the patron. we have two managers now for the show we oh, have right. occupyprowrestling.com and ryan clark has upgraded to the 20 dollar level the safety oh, for the steelers you. no no not that guy not no, that not ryan that. clark not that guy <laughs> it is now it is <laughs> i'm gonna tweet it. maybe it is ryan clark maybe from it the is. Ste- formerly That's from the steelers th- now thanks th- thanks for pat- supporting the show <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, start- for, mate, thanks for supporting Link. <laughs> I'm going to schedule at tweets. Ryan Clark. Yeah. Scheduling tweets for the next two years to Ryan there Clark. <laughs> there you go. That's the way he gets to the manager level. Doc right? Remedy gets stuff done. That's well, how a- you interview gladiators. He, I'm a- he does it. That is true. I'm a patron saint of Wrestling Mayhem. You show. mean you're a Patreon He's a Patreon saint? saint. Oh, patrons of Patreon. Patrons of Patreon. Patron. I'm a patron, patron. of Patreon. Of what wrestling yeah, sorry. That I, I need to put in my, uh, my Patreon bid. Yes, you have. You gotta get your Patreon in the bank. You do get perks in the uh, Mayhem Mania, popping all these peas into the m- a microphone. Wait till we get to the slice ad. Just uh, pissing <laughs> everything away. Patreon.com/slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. So since you, in, I know we talked about this last week, but we have to. What, are you raising your hand? <laughs> Question. Are you, Question. Because <laughs> I just want, I don't want to traipse all over your talking, your but hand? I need to know if you need a drink of water. Why? Because the last time I was here, you didn't read all that bullshit to start a show off. I don't. I don't remember it. We've, I've been doing that for several years at this yeah. point. Well, it's How been long has it been? A long time. You've I was like in your upstairs year. bedroom yeah, the you, last time. You've been here. No, never. We, no, never. What? <laughs> no, I was never in your basement with... <laughs> We've all been with, in his with the mayhem missing all those yeah, for all yeah, those episodes. Yeah, the time. No, I haven't been in here. No, you've been in here. No, never. You have not done a show with us in the last two years. Nope. I was gonna say, I don't think he has. What? I have. You have Yeah, I know I know Chad has, but I, I don't think, he, I don't think he has been, been here. here. I've been here, you but you have been here. I have been here. But for Wrestle Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> Where I fell asleep Wrestle, during the marquee match. Wrestle yeah. nap. Wrestle nap. Wrestle nap. Uh, by the way, uh, nap uh, Remedy, the the Tina is Tina's admiring your chain. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You stole that so, from Optimus. From yeah, one from Optimus' well, dead cold body. <laughs> yeah, right? Because of the <laughs> shitty movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I, told, I stole his chain from him for costing me a night of sleep. <laughs> a <laughs> last night of sleep? Yeah, right? No, fucking that movie. <laughs> Where did the sword go? I don't know. Plot device. Yeah. Plot hole. 
plot hole. <laughs> oh, we're not getting this. Is like a half an hour before the show. We're not. We're not doing this again. No, I wanted to bring. May or up, may not be on the gold edition. <laughs> maybe I don't. I can't remember what was where anymore. I can't remember that you were in in the stu- not in the studio for this. The do you hell? need that drink? Do we? Do I need a drink? Yeah, you you you, you, you say a lot. I got coffee over you here. Say so much. Yes. <laughs> I gotta say all the things. You gotta cover all the what? bases. And the say, hustle, man. You miss. You, you miss. You miss. You stream. You, you miss talk shoe. You around. miss blog spot. No, listen, listen. So you you like, know. I killed them. I threw them into the ground. They are tombstones in my I backyard. I had a very frank conversation with the new CEO of Talk Shoe last year. Is his year. name Frank? No, is uh, could be Frank. Could, Talk with Frank? No. Frank Shoe. It sounds guy, like a new show at Sorgatron Media. It's the guy that bought Talk Shoe. Uh, okay. It was not local because they were a very local company. Frank We Sneaker. met them. We, what? <laughs> His name is Frank Sneaker. Talk Shoe was our host for a long, long time. And some of you may remember that tone at the beginning of every one of our shows. Boom, 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 boom. Talk it's something shoe. like that. Yeah. Record it live. Talk Shoe. Yes. So, I mean, that was a thing for a while. But then you um, lost everything. But also, for about 10 years of the show, we did not pay for hosting. So, I mean, it kind of worked out in the end. No, right? you that's, paid. That's how, yeah, we paid. <laughs> wink, <You> wink. Paid. <laughs> wink. Well, wink, wink. Well, I'm glad we got off of them when we did, because they, they, they saw fit to have a server error and delete everybody's content. No. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so, lovely. So that was fantastic. So I, I was like, hey, I was down with staying I mean, with you guys. Sometimes you got to you gotta resold but, uh, the show. Yeah. <laughs> you can't keep any of that old stuff. No, the guy who bought the talk to you is uh, Frank Cobbler. No, oh, Frank, Frank Cobbler. You got to re- resold that shoe and put some new laces on her and... Clean her up. Condition some new leather. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Cobbled. Sorry. Anyway. So I, should have, I should have called in on Skype just to be nostalgic for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think that works a lot better than it Wait, used to, actually. Google so. Google hasn't killed it yet, have they? No, they haven't. We're, we're still on wow. Google Hangout. So Wait, that's I thought what I mean. They killed that, Google Hangouts. The, 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 they killed parts of it, and some of it that was like still zombieing out, and I, this part still I, works. It's getting I missed the Google Hangout part where we could put in sound effects. Yeah, I don't miss that part <laughs> um, <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, I can, uh, go ahead. Yeah, was, but no, no, yeah, that, that's why I, I bought this too expensive soundboard for one day when Hangout goes away and I have to go back to multiple computers mm-hmm. for multiple people to come in. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We'll, we'll probably get there at some point, but mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so. So 700 episodes. Um, again, Remedy, you were... That's a lot of Tuesdays. That's a oh, lot of Edge and a live few other ones. Somewhere around live. 700, yeah, I'll give be, or take. I'll just, you know what? It's so great that episode 700 happens now in the second coming of Edge. <laughs> Because, because the first episode, first episode happened after the about first the live coming sex of Edge. celebration. That's right. The first coming of Edge. The so, first coming of Edge. So this is W M S A E, A E. Yeah, yes. after, after Edge. Edge. Yeah. Yes. Mayhem after Earth. <laughs> Oof. Alter no. Edge. Alter, Alter Edge. Edge. Alter <laughs> Edge. <laughs> uh, yep. Can you believe it? Yes. Can you believe it? Uh, Hall of Famer. <laughs> He's got the Edge, shirt. Edge got, he Edge got one more match before Christian did. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! I, 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 I heard one more um, podcast. I heard rumors that Chris is going to be a part of this uh, storyline. Has mm. to be, right? Yeah, he has to be. I yeah. mean, if John Cena's dad gets punted in the head by Randy Orton, then Christian can get pulled over the barricade and punted in the head too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what well, he does. What is Christian? What was he out with when he retired? I, it's not a neck, is it? They were never really too specific about it. Yeah, he just no? kind of was like, <laughs> like, well, guys, I'm out. Yeah, he's like, well, you know. And, and, and Orton's going to attack Beth on NXT at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Definitely. I assume so. I, I at least expect him to show up and, and creepily like apologize for being there. Yeah. That's his like thing. Like, uh, oh, man, he, he, I don't, I don't really want to be here. I'm, I'm waiting for him I'm to come. I'm sorry, but uh, mm, I'm, 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 I'm. Ne- <laughs> next week he's gonna come out and be like, oh, it's just the IED flaring back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when he had IED for a while? What the was intermittent explosive disorder or whatever they was called it. Was that what they called it? Yeah. Oh. Where he would just like snap out and just RKO people at random. Oh. 
Because I, I, I think we made a joke that it was that. like intermittent explosive diarrhea. <laughs> I, you know, because bring out the gym bags. Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe he's going back into legend killer status. Yeah, but then he'd have to RKO himself. Well, mm. he's he's not a Hall of Famer. Mm. Once no, you get in the Hall he... of Fame, you're fair game mm-hmm. to uh, look out for KO'd and destroyed. The so next... Chris, yeah, oh, so... So Christian is safe. Uh, <laughs> but look out, Bret Hart, at the next Hall of Fame. It won't yeah. be a fan. It'll be Randy Orton. Are the you Dudley... son of a bitch. <laughs> Are the Dudleys in? Yeah. The Hardys are not. No. Hardys yeah. are not. No. So half of the TLC match Correct. is in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Uh, minus Edge, Spike, and Rhino, yeah. Well, the, I mean, the, the actual. Oh, the first one. Oh, Lita's yeah. in there, too. Yeah. So. Well, oh, wait, Lita is in the Hall of Fame? Lita. Out of the six individuals. Yeah, isn't she? Did yeah. she go in? Lita's yeah. in the Hall of Fame, yeah. Lita's in the Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah. Out of the six Lita's participants. Yeah. Trish inducted her. Half of them mm-hmm. are in. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling, man? How are you feeling, Chad? Rejuvenated. Yes. Yeah. What was the reaction when it went down? Like, you know, you hope for things to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you hear the rumors and you just don't want to be let down. So I had no, I, I just was like, you know what? I'm not even, I'm Did not you see even hyping myself up. For even it. when he had the picture of him looking at his gear bag? Yeah. I mean, I get excited. Yeah. <laughs> But going into the pay per view, I was like, I can't do this to myself because, like, no, no, no. So I, I just kind of blocked it out of my mind and just like, yeah, let's just enjoy this. It was a very good rumble. I enjoyed, I think, all of it. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it just happened. I was like, get the hell out of here. I was like, it's actually happening. I'm like, man, he looks pretty good. And then he just, I what I assume it gave Dolph a very good handshake off camera because I didn't get to see him get into the ring. So mm. I assume they met and gave vigorous handshakes to each other, and then Dolph just fell down out of excitement. And then uh, uh, Edge was standing in the ring, ready to spear the other people who were not fans of his. So I think that's what happened. I don't Kevin know. Dunn strikes Kevin, again. Kevin Dunn did us real dirty. Yeah. It, it With just... the entrance, too, because they're like, hey, look, there he is. And Edge runs to the left. And let's just fucking point the camera over to the crowd and then come back yeah. to an empty ramp because he's run the other way. Listen, because you're too slow. WWE has always been very tight. And I remember 10 years ago, Raven saying, oh, it's not as tight as it used to be. It feels like it's. <laughs> Oh God, Thorg. It just it feels like like a hallway. <laughs> Spear. Uh, the anyways. tightest the tightest <laughs> production the tightest the tightest tightest of the tightest Royal tightest Rumble. Tightest O'Neal. Feels like what are you doing with no, your it, hands? It's, it's Diamond Cutter, bang. It's not just the Royal Rumble. It's it has been for yeah. a few years um, now. Um it, 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 I don't know if it's just they're rolling new people in that aren't as capable or something. No, I think it's uh, Kevin Dunn just can't do it anymore. Really? I, like, I honestly think that because from what I heard, he was the main. He was calling the shots for the Rumble. Yeah, yeah. And like, and there's no way he's doing everything at this point. Like he's not doing NXT. No, right? Like, like he's no. got to be. They got to be cycling in. But you'll see, new. like the big pay per views, you'll see them miss spots. Yeah, or yeah. Miss big things. I just think he doesn't. I don't. I don't know. I just think he's he's not as it, like I know this is what the stuff up to stuff. with AEW. It feels like whoever's whoever's directing that can't keep up with the matches. Yeah. With like you know six man flipping over the top rope on every corner. You know they don't know they have, just don't know where to go and they feel like they're missing big stuff. Right. And and w, and and yeah, you can be judgmental, but like it's WWE, their shit is locked down, right? Like, and they're not doing super crazy stuff. Like, literally, right. this was just get some fan reactions. Edge is going to come into the ring and, and spear somebody, and we messed it up. Yeah, and you missed yeah two thirds of it. Yeah, it's not like, like you didn't even see you didn't you got him coming up. Yeah, he went off to the side. You missed it. Mm. He ran to the other side. You were too slow and mm-hmm. caught the main ramp with just smoke and nothing. Mm-hmm. Not even like his jacket. And, and produ- dude, production is hard. I get it. <laughs> you know, I believe me, I get it. Yeah. But but 
after you've done it for so many years and how many cameras you have. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. You should be able to. I don't know what that is like to direct a show at that scale. Like we do three cameras, like, yeah. and that gets tough from time to time. Yeah. And I could not imagine what that is like to to do that, know which one to pick. You know, yeah, the director. They have at least at least twelve to sixteen cameras going. At yeah, and some of those are pretty steady. Like you know your hard right, cam, right, and right. you know, and I'm sure it's just like sports. Whereas mm-hmm. you would say. You are filming Lesnar. Mm-hmm. You, you're mm-hmm. Lesnar all the time. Mm-hmm. That's just that's your job. Mm-hmm. You get close ups of Lesnar, and you get close ups of whoever, and they all have headsets and stuff. So you can, yeah, you should yeah, be able to. So really, like if there's an entrance like that, you should have maybe what five cameras. Like you think? one down the ramp, one the, on the side. The your poor... big your big crane. Maybe maybe they just didn't account for how amped up he was going to be. Well, and also, I think I think one thing I was noticing, I don't think you ever saw anybody see anybody step up out of the dugout, right? Like, it was a very, like, and no, I think there was a lot of movement for that. Pretty, this is where we get, well, I, why is Matt not here for this conversation? Because I'm sure he's loving this. And um, but just something else that just from, like, a, I don't know the way to describe it, but like an end product that it seems more and more WWE is focused on what they're going to use for their video package. So like yeah, missing the shot of him coming out of the dugout right. having the but camera But they to have like, a, but they have all that. Yeah, they were well, yeah. they, they released yeah, like you said yeah. they released the shot. Yeah, they had like a, they had like the a guy the guy on the corner of the post and the ramp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he filmed the whole thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, but I said when great. they're live switching that they're they're wanting to be able to get and I don't know whether it's cuz I mean you can speak to this sword cuz you do live switching all the time. Mm-hmm. But is it easier to when you're putting to, packages together that it's like okay here's the audience reaction and that's why they do the live cut then because they could get it and it's spliced in I, and for the no they, again they they are at this point like when they do a show every one of those cameras again recorded somewhere so, so like you yes. can do you can follow all that like like what they do with the edge thing or where they're like hey here's another cut of him coming to the ring and that it, had that had to have been a reaction to like this is the, your biggest like, moment of the night. We missed it, and I, I think it was just a switching error. It, it, it is, it is, and, and, and you can get screwed up. I mean, I, I'll sit here and do shows, and like there, there'll be like one point near the end of a show where like I just confuse buttons, and you saw my desktop on this computer over here for some reason. It just happened at the Super Bowl brunch the other day, right? Yeah. Or, or even on those wrestling shows where I'll just get turned around, kind of on what's going on, throwing the wrong shot up. Or whatever the case may be, or somebody's trying to talk to me or something, right? Um, and again, at scale, you know. Hey guys, hmm. I hate to cut off this edge discussion. Vimmel is in the chat room. Get yes, the he fuck is. out of here! Hello, sir. The first Hello, visitor, sir. Big V. <laughs> Wait, I, went, I don't remember him having a hand sign. He does the now. He does of now. Nomics. It's, uh, it's twenty twenty. Everybody's got hand signs. Yeah, everybody does shit. There so you that's go. There's yours, Vimmel. Do that next time you enter the OR. You Watch still the... a doctor? <laughs> I assume you're still a doctor. Was he a surgical doctor? I, I don't know. I, don't... I apologize <laughs> if I offended you. I did buy a new car to come pick you up at the airport. So There you go. There you go. <laughs> got to come see the new studio, the new digs. I mean, we got so much space now. Vimo and I should come at the same time they... so we both get there. I'm not advocating you to spend a bunch of money on a flight to come to the United States, though, because you might not get home. <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck? Times are strange in this country. <laughs> We're just watching out for our friends. That is yeah, true. You never that know when the border is gonna just burn for you. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that is good. Uh, so, anyway, good to see you, Vim. Good, good to see you there in the chat. Um, he's, oh, he says yes, he was, but now he's a generalist. Is that like a? Is that like the mentalist, Leader but for no, generals? I think that's like a PP, like a your a PP. Prim, no, your 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 PPC, your primary yeah. care doctor, or PCP. Something. Yes, yeah. he primary leads care armies. physician. I think you're missing all generalist. He's a he's, he's a general. Well, yeah, he's a, he's a general. He leads an army of practitioners against war, <laughs> against diseases, <laughs> and. And general injuries. As soon as you said that, for whatever reason, and it's terrible, but Osmosis Jones came to mind. Oh no, <laughs> the animated Chris Rock movie. Yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he says he'll only come out uh, over if he can sleep in the studio on this nice couch right here. I mean, if it's good enough for 
porn stars and <laughs> politicians <laughs> and that one guy from Rookie of the Year. It's good enough for you. Yeah, then. there you go. Yeah. There you go. I mean, he was the rookie of the year. I mean, he was the main guy, and he was an American Pie. So this is where the mayhem show of old comes into play right now. Okay, this, this all right. This literally is the Daily Show's couch. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, yeah. I think that guy may have been on the Daily Show. John Oliver slept here. John, yeah, this, <laughs> no, no, this that... purple couch is from the set of the Daily Show. <laughs> I, I technically was on the Daily Show. You, well, yeah, it, well, you... Okay. No, I technically was. I was in the background of a shot they did. Oh, you were? They were and doing like a shoot. And I, by the yes. same rules, I was on an episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> so was Norm Connors. I was sitting on the back, in the back, uh, back row. And I was technically audience. on several episodes of Lucha Underground. There you go. <laughs> we're playing this game. What TV show have you been on, Doc Remedy? You've been on. Uh, you've been walking well, inadvertently a... in the background of some television <laughs> show, like we all have been. Apparently, everything I've been on is on Cinemax. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it from three thirty to four thirty. Hey, yeah. Just go to Max After Dark. He <laughs> says. Vimo says I see more PPs than I'd like. <laughs> I mean, that little hand yeah, it makes sense. Generally. <laughs> 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 I think on that note, it's time for us to take our first break. Give a shout out. First of all, a lot of indie wrestling out there these days, and a lot of it over at indie wrestling.us network, uh, including you might find a Doc Remedy in the audience at the last Prospect Pro show. Uh, actually, that's true. You actually, will find him. You can because I was editing the show, and I'm like, oh, there he is peeking over. <laughs> <laughs> there he is making a cameo. You can but also find him putting over Lock and Shula. Yes. You can also, well, that's not on the network. That's actually on the Indie Wrestling.us YouTube. Just look up a David Demera, D I M E R R A. Did I get that right? No, one no, R. One R. <laughs> one R. Sword. Damn it. Come Somebody on. dropped your name earlier in the chat. And I think that, they right? said. No. I thought I was going off that. No, no, they yeah. spelled it wrong. Roden got it. Your your former tag team partner, John Roden, by the way. Yeah, John so, Roden. He gave me a wink and a nod yeah. <laughs> on, at 2PW. And if you listen really closely, you'll hear uh, Super Hentai call me by my government name. Your government <laughs> 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 and it's not vulgar <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh anyways if you want to go check out what's going on in the indies uh between uh, uh of course prospect pro wrestling rise with y who has another show this week and of course the great match between lee moriarty and uh jason kincaid uh oh from their baldwin debut by one Ch chad the shag getting all the angles on there also matt Collins. i'll also it. be at rise this weekend <laughs> Funny. Yeah, you'll be hanging with Damien on that show. Riz will be there on the uh, Slang and DVDs. Slang, that's right. Slang and Slang the DVDs. Slang and D's. There you go. Slang there you D's. go. Slang and D's. Riz will be Slang and the D's. A lot of, I uh, say, just this weekend, we'll be, okay, again, uh, filming Rise as well as uh, Black Diamond Wrestling. Oh, I think there's a mainstream mat rolling in here. Uh, ah, somebody's intruding! <laughs> do you, no, get him, get him, Jimmy, don't, Jimmy Vegas, don't get him! do Sweet 16 parties, I told you already! <laughs> Damn Stranger it. danger, oh, stranger danger. Check out $5.99 a month, seven-day free trial. Check out all the wrestling action, as well as Wrestle Freak Tony, as well as Women with Waffles, and the hardcore memories with Duke and Doe, and so much more. Uh, thank you, Blackfist was champions as well. Uh, so go check it out, IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. Now, hey, we got a few more messages. First off, with uh, Lee Moriarty and Jordan Styles, and we'll be back after this. This is Tiger Style Lee Moriarty, and you're watching the 700th episode of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the successful St. Jordan Styles, and I am here to offer up, well, a rare congratulations for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The 700 Club is a fantastic achievement. I know that I had the opportunity to be a part of several of your shows, and I want to say from uh, one media person to another, well done. So, I wish you guys nothing but more success, and, well, who knows? Maybe one day, you guys will win an Emmy of your own. So congratulations, continue showing me, and above all else, remain simply better.
I mean, it's my birthday every time I go to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's the mayhem. We're still rolling here. We got mainstream. Matt has just jumped in here. He's preparing for uh, a mayhem mania later in the show. The board's getting ready. The wheel is there. Uh huh. You got a nice close up of the wheel this time. So we're we're this good to go. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be real you're, good. Yeah, that's a shot like you're like that reporter off to the side, like checking in. He's like, oh, I'm working on stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like, we'll get back to him <laughs> over there. <laughs> we go, like, preparing it, preparing uh, the weather is uh, Lou over there, and uh, so, with the weather we have Matt. How's the weather, it's Matt? Groundhog Day. It's, it's fucking raining. <laughs> Or what was the, the forecast? Not guy? ready yet. Forecast not ready yet. Yeah. How's the weather, Ollie? <laughs> it's gonna rain. Thanks, <laughs> Ollie. Uh, but anyways, it's raining sideways. We did have a question. We had a question before he gets off because it's three a.m. Uh, <laughs> wait, it, it, I, I think there. I see. I see. I, it's nice to see you guys. I think it's eight, three a.m. In, in London. He says. Uh, 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 where? What happened to the pirate championship? The Pirate Ship Championship. Pirate Ship Championship, which I believe, Chad, you found in, didn't you, or both of you found that in a parking lot somewhere? Mm. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the history of the Pirate Ship Championship is pretty murky. <laughs> <laughs> As you would expect it to be. <laughs> what? Honestly, we should bring back the WrestleMania Pirate. I swear you found it like just in a parking lot because you can see the scuff marks that it's been like it was like dropped on concrete. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still in the same room. I probably and is. I'm pretty sure there's still a Legion of Doom figure. That was hang, what studio Shark Boy two or three? That was studio two. Mm. This would be studio four. Now we've this reconfigured is. three several times. Correct. So I w- I only count Mayhem Studios as a whole there. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if we gave a name to the 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 upstairs. Studio. So it's Studio One. So it's fist bumping there. Are you no. fist bumping? Is that what's ah. happening? <laughs> I was going for it. Uh, no, 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 no. He just Pumping. looked at me and was just like, no. Yes. Yeah, yes. fist bumping. <laughs> studio <laughs> one. I remember Studio One was was Sorg at his PC, which was adjacent to Lunchbox's PC. And it was like old was two TV, old two TV, tube TV or tube monitors, right? And they were like old, old school like school desks with like metal drawers and shit. Which we still have because those yep. are the ones we got from like an old. That's the one we we mm-hmm. used until we moved out. It's still there. And then there was a, um, not a couch. What was the into a bed? The what futon. The, the futon. wooden futon. The wooden futon was against the wall, mm-hmm. and so that's where Steam Machine, myself, and Chad would sit. And I believe we had two PC mics. <laughs> yeah, with the, the little like plastic stick mics that were yeah, just a little like, plastic like yeah. fifteen dollars at Radio Shack because yep. high end. And we had to yell, <laughs> like, because that's where the the infamous Steam Machine rant like oh. was him yelling and just because that's how you got picked <laughs> up on the microphones because that was. I forgot. I forgot a platform that Wrestling Mayhem Show was on. Wrestling Mayhem Show originated on WesternPAJuggleRadio.com. Mm-hmm. There you mm-hmm. go. Old school plug. I don't forget. Like an mm-hmm. elephant up here, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 we brought our tag titles there. We yeah. had a good time. <laughs> tag titles, yeah. Sorg, I have a question. Yes. What was the Western PA Juggalo Radio? Well, it was the the Shoutcast Radio we did for WesternPAJuggalos.com. It was Juggalo Radio. We had affiliations with PA Juggalos and Toxic Radio, who is still running today, by the way. I believe they've become more of a pa- podcast platform. And this was around 2005 we were doing the streaming, and we were not legal. <laughs> so all. is this terrestrial? No, 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 no. This is um, Shoutcast. Do you remember Winamp? No. No? Anybody remember Winamp? Yeah, you could. Yeah. It was it was like a pretty common uh, audio like player. An audio player on, with, on PCs. With all the skins. Yeah, you but get skins. Like it, it line, like the one file it was was like, wait up, it really kicks the llama's ass. I don't remember, uh, I don't remember, don't remember that. that. No, but there was like equalizers. On yeah, the, yeah, it was pretty good. Little, it was the best way yeah, to play well. all your MP3s that you downloaded off of Kazaa. And Napster, so yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Lime wire. Lime yeah, wire. Lime yeah, wire. yeah, whatever your, whatever your <laughs> your your Frost play, wire. Frost wire was that one? <laughs> in that the was end, one. Oh, was for like a, a month. Lincoln Park in the end, where it's like capital I, lowercase n, <laughs> capital E. Well, you always yeah. got a glitch at the end with and underscores separating. It, it wasn't yeah. the song. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was it was Justin Timberlake for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, so broke. this was uh, you could at, at certain points. So you would set up, I believe, through Winamp, if I recall, and you would broadcast to a server somewhere that somebody had set up somewhere was how we first started. And then we decided to do our own, which was a computer. Much like that streaming computer beside you is always streaming the indie wrestling.us to Twitch, except for when we're on right now. This would be a computer that sat beside the that sat beside and it would just stream all the time radio of I think it was probably just ICP songs. Because <laughs> it was Juggalo Radio or or actually because we were also doing the rapping stuff at the end, so it would be basic sickness, it would be and a lot of the other Crap. locals, yep. Juggalo Sauce guys, uh uh no Six clue co- no clue crew. Whitney Payton, who actually has won a Grammy since, uh, I started, kind of talked to her a couple of years ago. Who, who, who were the other guys? Not Basic Sickness. Uh, hmm. I work with Basic Sickness. Uh, yes. <laughs> who were they? Who By were the way, they? Basic Sickness is on Spotify and everything now. He, he re- remastered, oh, yeah. re-released a lot of his old albums. So he go is, check um, that out. He is the budget director. Shh. K Fabe. K Fabe. <laughs> yeah. That's not Wait a weird, second. But Wait so, a second. I, yeah. I have a question. Yes. Is, yeah. Basic sickness is one guy. Uh, yeah. He had a band, but I mean, it's okay. mostly one guy. Okay. So I mean, it was he, like a like, band. He's do. He was like a guy with a band, kind of like like Kid Rock had a band for a while. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Funny. For a second, I thought it was just like one dude, like yeah, playing yeah. all the instruments. He's like a Papa rock. Roach. <laughs> like Papa Roach. Wait, Papa Roach is one no, no, guy. No, no, no. Papa Roach <laughs> is well, guy. depends on who you ask. If you ask Mayhem Missy, Papa Roach is one guy. <laughs> <laughs> My wife thought so, Papa Roach was one guy for yeah, the longest time. Yeah, that's Roach. Papa Roach. Yeah, so, Father so, Roach. So if you if you click the link and you load a WPAJ radio on your Winamp, because I think that's the only place you could listen to it, on your computer, because it was 2005, remind you, we didn't Ot have Ot iPhones five. yet. What's that? Ot 5. Ot, in Ot 5. Back when we still lived in caves. Up. That's right. Um, basements and caves. So we could manage a... If you listened, you were listening a stream directly from that computer, and we could have 12 listeners before we had problems with connection. I forgot about the yeah. 12 cool. listener limit. And when we were live with the re- – then we said, hey, there's, let's try to do a wrestling show after Mondays. Hey, there's this thing called podcasting. Maybe more than the 12 people can listen to us potentially. And uh, then – Sorg invented podcast. And then, <laughs> I believe that. At least in no, Pittsburgh. No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then then um, uh, we did that, and we're like, we still want to do live since we were doing the radio. That's why we've always done live. And we would log, we, we made a, a AOL chat room. Wow. On AOL Instant Messenger. We weren't on AOL. Oh, like we had well, Comcast or something. Yeah. And that's how we would communicate during the show. And that and smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that's how the audience started with us and we had a feud because the only competition we had on whatever sh- server that was uh for the first six months before it got sh- bought and shut down uh <laughs> so what, before we went to talk to uh was that uh kid with the disney podcast oh my god oh <laughs> Wait, who he used to lay into that kid <laughs> Oh, 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 I forgot about that. We this just, kid has like a. This is 2006, sh- by the way. I completely when the, forgot yes, about yes. those transgressions against that poor Disney kid. <laughs> this kid's get, probably like just was happy about talking Disney, you know, just filling time, and we were unkind. And, well, and, and now, the, 700 episodes later, we fill time by talking <laughs> about Disney. Yeah, 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 that's true. We've, yeah. we've become the Disney <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Well, that's what, and I mean, the kid obviously, guarantee, had no idea that like Mayhem Show existed, I hope not, and um, that Mayhem Show existed, and that we were talking so much shit on him, like no, no, no idea there's existed. A, there's no it reason. Was just, it was literally and, us just screaming and into all a this void. Was, all this was strung together with MySpace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's what it, that's what that's what it came from. Rest Matt. Mayhem Show. This is built. like and, this is like the equivalent that, of like I used to have to walk. Uphill both ways to school. Oh, dude, when you're you, talking to like you, new, like the new podcasters today, and you're like, ah, son, in my day, podcasters have it so easy. Yeah, so easy. It's literally like that's why I get when I get heated. If you ever heard me at PodCamp when somebody's like, how do I get started on a podcast? And I hold this up like talking to this and hit record because well, <laughs> you don't realize what I had to do. What I had to do <laughs> back in the day for, like, so, for five so people like, to listen to me. Step one, go fuck yourself. Step two, uh, when you're done doing that, 
I had to stream both ways uphill <laughs> with minimal There's bandwidth. A... And that is actually a good definition of what a uh, shoutcast server on Comcast in 2006 was like. <laughs> streaming the, uphill it, both ways. Because the problem was you had a good download of what, like, three megs at the time was glorious. But the upload was still, like, un, like 756 three, maybe. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that was the problem because we were streaming outwards, of course. In other so. words, the Mayhem Show's 700 episodes are mixed. <laughs> the, the foundation that was poured is a lot of dead bodies. And concrete. <laughs> it's like Hoover Dam. A Dan. lot of skeletons <laughs> in that concrete. <laughs> like, a lot of mob hits just <laughs> tossed in there. And It's a miracle you were even able to do it, really. It, it sounds like a is. miracle. It kind of is. This I is... mean, it, it, from what I understand, because I came in, what, like five episodes after it had started. Um, because Chad knew Lunchbox, and Lunchbox knew Will, or L- Lunchbox L- is L- Will. Will. <laughs> Lunchbox is new Sorg, and Chad and was like, hey, we talk about wrestling on Tuesday. You want to come hang out and oh, talk no. about wrestling? And I was like, yeah, let's all hang out and talk about wrestling. So literally, it was for our own amusement. It wasn't mm-hmm. even like to the listener, at least for me when I started, wasn't projecting this out into the world for people no, to listen to no. just like i'm trying to make sorg laugh i'm trying to make chad laugh and now sorg has an empire in which he crushes the small people underneath the heel <laughs> in this fair city <laughs> and tells the uh, new podcasters to go f off you know, <laughs> and pay their you dues. don't know he walks in kiss the ring bitches <laughs> the king, the the pod king pod is fa- here the pod father is here if they don't listen he goes Oh. Jimmy Vegas, break his back. <laughs> you know, when you talk about the people we know in wrestling, it does sound like uh like like a mob hit squad. You're Jimmy Vegas, you're uh Jimmy Vegas with that mask just standing beside you with his <laughs> arms crossed. Like just, just, just ready to watch go yeah. out to whoever you hate right you out the, the window. The Campino family, Jimmy DeMarco, <laughs> Bulk nasty. Bulk nasty. <laughs> Jimmy DeMarco rushes your enemies with a suck my muscles cut off shirt, Wielding feverishly s- jacking them off and then tossing them into the sewer. Wielding a flexible 24 inch dildo <laughs> that he pulls out of a scabbard. These are not exaggerations of the people we have met along this no, glorious path. No, 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 no. There is no, there isn't. So, Sorg, right now, sorry for my for my view here. Yes. I'm just envisioning. Well, you're looking up arched, at the wall above my head. Above your head. Yes. An arch sign that just in some fancy, weavy font that just says Podfather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pay your this dues. This is you not bitches. the first time this has come up. Oh, really? <laughs> I well, think. I think I'm uh, known as a man who gets shit done. <laughs> By the next time Mr. I step D- foot Mr. in, Mr. Demira, my name's Dave Demira, and I get shit done. <laughs> next time so I step drink. foot in this studio, there will be a sign that says oh, no. Podfather. No, 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 no. I mark my words. Gee. Oh yeah, Episode no, it's seven hundred. We gotta use that Patreon money for something. <laughs> We're paying the bills for the show is what we're doing. <laughs> that's what we're that's oh, what we're doing. We have resources. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's a forge or something very close by that we can use. It's very dark. Steel City. A very Access dark to some uh, waters. <laughs> well no, we we have a we have a fabricator in our basement. <laughs> well, I'll be back. That sworn enemy. There's a lot of tools <laughs> down there. We can have this done by the end of Mutilator the show. Mutilator Larry. <laughs> he, hey. he, he does live in the basement and he makes shit. So that's his that's his call sign. Hi, hi I'm Larry. I live in the basement and I make shit. So, so we we'll, get along. I he he makes shit. I get shit done. So there we'll you get, go. You're, we'll we get make shit done. Podfather in a very um, like a ransom note kind of way with, <laughs> with like Pittsburgh lettering. <laughs> it, it should be well, it should P be from letters P-P- from P-P- every independent P-P-G, Pittsburgh yeah, wrestling promoter. Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, like you like, like post post clipped it out of the uh, like you clipped the letters out of the Post Gazette, you know, and you yeah. pasted them up there. Yeah. I see you could use the original Mayhem Show font. I mean, that's almost ransom note esque. Oh my god, that was that first logo. That logo was so bad because it hey, was. Man. Don't talk shit on Lunchbox. Like, I'm gonna <laughs> tell him you were talking shit on. I him. don't know. That was my logo. Or thing. It was no, the the one where it. it was like the different fonts. No, 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 not that one. The, the, the one uh, he made. That's the one we're still using. That's in the corner right now, isn't it? Uh, uh yeah. The heavy metal one that looks like a. Uh, the. Uh, 
I forget exactly. The one what in that the middle form. is like paint splatter. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, very okay. WWE uh, attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely or not like, that one. Like the a, one before that one. Yeah, we were like a, a, what, a new metal band where they have just lines <laughs> all yeah. over their letters. <laughs> we we should update because we've been using the same 3D intro that Malengo made for us like probably 10 years ago. <laughs> it's oh, not even. It still works. Malengo's yeah, yeah. a name Very I haven't nice. heard in a while. He's how's around. That, how's he's he still doing? doing stuff. He's, still he's doing good. This is, this, is the, this is the getting the getting caught up podcast. Yeah, this is, I, I, I miss the rambling remedy. movie minute. The rambling movie minute. Yeah, yeah. So many podcasts have come and gone and hey, we're still hey, Dave, here. Dave, Dave. On the uh, backs of dead. <laughs> of dead podcasts. Hey, dead hey, podcast hey, carcasses. Yes, sir. Just MP3s and empty RSS feeds <laughs> lined along the highway. Now you're getting me into this. So, yeah, many, yeah. Do- just, so many dormant so websites. Destroyer <laughs> of worlds. <laughs> destroyer of bandwidth. <laughs> yeah. Cons- or eater of, eater of eater bandwidth. Of bandwidth. <laughs> Consumer of bandwidth. Oh, you, yeah. should, you should see my... Remedy, my... We, should, we should do a level 5 podcast episode where we just talk about Heroes Reborn. Uh, um, I, uh, I mentioned this a little bit ago. You re- you guys realize so I do do a podcast called Level Four because mm. you guys were level five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's I'm, actually for automated car design. I need to contact <laughs> <So>. my lawyer <laughs> for automated car for, design. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to talk to Intel and General Motors. <laughs> so is, he's Child trying. games. <laughs> So we're just gonna make you kiss that ring, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing big names like yeah. Intel, oh, General Motors around. So it's like, um, want to hear my hey, partners? Hey, if you want to, if you want to talk about the inspiration this show has gone, I just want to note it. I just want to note, uh, and I've mentioned this, I'm sure, many more times than I should. Uh, I mean, there's the first podcaster at WWE was also the first person who wanted to be on our podcast. In one Corey Graves, we should have made a list of how many people we've had on the show that have gone on to be at WrestleMania. If you want to do it, oh. hey, as somebody who who loves research, could maybe do that for us. <clears throat> why you why'd you click on my camera? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? No, no, no. I got these. I got to do this thing. (laughs) He's like, I'm busy with this mayhem. Tell me. I got this wheel and this whiteboard. I can't possibly. Hit me up in six months. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That sounded like a great transition. Uh, Anyways, um, (laughs) anything else? Hey, hey, Sorg, uh, we have an email. We do have an email? We have an email. Okay. Where was that email to? Uh, good times at wrestlingmanshow.com. Uh, not Sorg Sidekick Sweet Sixteen at wrestlingmanshow.com. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeez. Good times, Mike. What's going on? Okay, uh, so uh, this email is from June twenty sixth, two thousand ten, at four o'clock in the morning. Okay. And um, I'm not going to tell you who it's from, but I have a feeling you'll be able to guess. Okay. All right. Um, holy fucking fish tits, LB. I'm back. I don't know what day it is. It's been a crazy time since I last emailed you. I graduated high school. I got my grade 12, bitch, and I don't know what I picked for college. Also, I don't want to know. I. <laughs> well, we got to find this guy. <laughs> Do you know who it's from yet? <laughs> uh, anybody else want to venture a guess? Cause... You don't know? I know, I know. Oh, I was I like, know. I know. This is fucking Juggalo Jamie. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Juggalo Jamie. Oh, <laughs> Never forget okay, Juggalo right, Jamie. Um, I had broken English, yeah. <laughs> the email continues. I have been writing a lot of song and some lyrics that are fucked. I haven't watched any wrestling in months, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. But even if I did watch, I would really know what's going on. Nopes. If it's not the other male, it's some fucking five-year-old, maybe two, from Texas Marx's P.S. I have been drinking, fuckers. <laughs> Wait, like he said the, he said like it was the first from... time I've uh, heard it. That was that was that was he Jungle said, Jamie. He said it was from Texas. No, no, uh, I think Texas he was, slash he was Marx X. I, I think he uh, was. I think he was calling out Russell fan, who was probably like fourteen at the time. Mm. <laughs> probably. <laughs> So I, was, I thought it may have been like a pre wrestle fan thing, but I, uh, I guess that would have been around the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
WrestleFan 2000. Oh. <laughs> Never forget. I still, uh, on occasion, he'll come up in conversations with uh, Mayhem Missy. And unfortunately, we do not call him by his government name. We call him by <laughs> WrestleFan 2000. Yeah, when, yeah. When yeah discussing we, him in not even just WrestleFan. No, WrestleFan 2000. 2000. Waffle Fan. So now, now, of course... Announcer extraordinaire at uh, uh, Inspire Pro down there in Texas, doing great, great things. So. Isn't he also a manager too? Or I don't is know he... if he's still. I haven't seen much of his manager stuff on on the Facebook, but um, he was for a minute, and he was not a good guy. Oh, uh, he corrupted him. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. That's right. Uh, actually, I'll be down that way, and uh, <laughs> I, I was. Uh, I'll be down that way, and I'll be there at WrestleMania weekend. So mm. hopefully, they still are. Intel. What's that? That's a General <laughs> Motors. General Motors, Intel, uh, WrestleMania. Yeah, no. Sorg, I mean, quit putting that's, your dick down over that's right my, <laughs> That's my second weekend with Lockheed Martin, actually. Oh, wow. Well, so excuse uh, the shit uh, out of Sorg, yeah. Sorg, put your penis away. <laughs> Damn it, Sorg. Just, Andrew Palace is in the chat room. Holy fuck. And it's going, I was like, white dynamite himself. He's calling, he said, hey, miss you, buddy. To you. Remedy. Miss you too, White Dynamite. White Dynamite. I wanted him to try and adopt that moniker so bad. And White, yet he White Dynamite Andrew Palace? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it would sound <laughs> great. <laughs> that just rolls off the I tongue. Think, I think I that thought... would work in Western PA. So yeah. Yeah, actually, no, like, I don't know if it would work in 2020. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, this was, this was a few years and ago. And actually, I mean, I lifted that from, there's a, I think he's, is it Snack the Rapper, I think is his name? Okay. Or Snack the Ripper? I can't remember. But he has an album called White Dynamite. <laughs> And so that's where I lifted it from. And I remember I was hanging out with Andrew Pallas. For funny name, he's still in my phone as Magic Fingers. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, um, <laughs> and I told him, I was like, you should go, go buy on. White Dynamite. And he was like, no. If he went as, as White Dynamite, and then he probably would have pinned you. And then he'd be in. Right? In, WWE, in by yeah. WWE by now. WWE by now. Executive yeah. vice president of AEW. <laughs> you know, getting, getting taken out uh, by Brock Lesnar at the Rumble. Mm-hmm. You know. Just so. like everybody else. Like MVP. Just like MVP. <laughs> you like the pity the pity match they threw him for Raw the next day? They're like, hey, man, we know you came back and you got dumped by Brock. Have a match with Ray. And then, and then he announced his retirement right after that. Yep. Wrestled yep. poorly against Ray. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was <laughs> not the best. Mm. I thought he had already retired, but uh, but he this was is, doing some. There stuff, was a lot of well, yeah, he he was he was here in like April, but I thought after like then he had like the Vice piece. Uh, they featured him on the the Vice wrestling stuff they've been doing. Okay, and yep. uh, then and, and I watched the background video, and it's it's just like the Goldberg thing. It's like I want my kid to see me wrestle and on the scale. At, like, at some point, do we but now have the to let thing. everyone wrestle? Yeah. And he has to do what? it in front of like three million people in WWE. Wait, they don't get three million people anymore. Yeah, no, not two anymore. No, people? Yeah. <laughs> ten thousand people. We have 10, to let everyone come back who wants them to have their kids see them wrestle. Like you know, in five years, are we going to have all the Bella children watch listen, Nikki and Free beat the Iconics? I want a for senior no tour. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I mean, the, 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 the Legends tour, you know. Yeah. It's no different than sports players that are like, I'm going to no. sign a one-day contract so I can retire as this member. Yeah, but they don't send them in to like, play in the game. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they should. <laughs> Ratings. <laughs> oh, yeah. It watch this. For, it works for watch, WWE. Watch Brett yeah. Favre get broken in half. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Hey, Brett, I remember I that guy. Name. I'd rather there just be like a separate one-hour show where it's just WWE Legends. Mm. Where we don't have to have them interact with like the real talent now. You mean like Legends House? Senior yes, Saturday night. Like, Senior <laughs> Saturday night, yeah. Saturday mornings. <laughs> no, <laughs> do, do Saturday Saturdays. Unless, unless you're airing early at 4 p.m. Roll. on Saturday, then it can be Saturday. There, Saturday there is, early evening. There is a certain magic to watching wrestlers who are like, who can no longer do like the, you know, super athletic stuff, still mm-hmm. like work a match mm-hmm. like yeah, effectively. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not saying that all these guys will be able to do that, but. Uh, Mike, you were saying? Uh, um, we should just have it like, like have it have happen like Sunday mornings mm-hmm. after church, <laughs> and, call, and call it early morning brawl, <laughs> and just have it be like Ooh, no 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 like it ends it ends just in time for them to go to dinner at two in the afternoon brunch yeah. brawl brunch brawl brunch brawl yeah brunch yeah brunch yeah brawl. there you go and, and and then we can take people who 
like Goldberg who want to wrestle and just put put them there. Brunch brawl, no kids allowed. So Goldberg came back for his kid. What's his excuse now? I mean, money. it's the oh, blood money, money, right? money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's what, a lot what, of uh, money. Call it the blood what? sucking dick money or something like money, that. Money um, and and so that taker match wasn't his last. Um. Yeah, yeah but it, it already isn't his last because he wrestled Dolph Ziggler. Oh, that's right. That's that was right. so funny. Um, oh my god! Anybody you, can get who lucky do you guys three think times. He <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you think he's wrestling this time? Uh, it's not Corbin. Probably himself. I don't know. The I, I've heard the prevailing rumor is is, is not great. Is it okay. Sean? Uh, worse. Is that the, oh, worse than Sean? Hunter. Nope. Worse. Oh, Way worse. Dang it. Trips needs a WrestleMania match. Current talent. Current talent. Current talent. Current talent. Bobby Lashley. Nope. Mm. I'd prefer that. Prefer that? I'd prefer Goldberg versus Lashley. Buddy Murphy. Nope. I'd prefer that too. (laughs) Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy. (laughs) Seth Rollins. Is it? Is it? No, we can only hope because he might buckle bomb him and end his career. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. And he's not too soon. I didn't know we felt that bad about it. I didn't know we felt that bad about it. It's someone on SmackDown. What's that, Mike? It's someone on SmackDown. Uh, Charlotte. Rollins. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. <laughs> oh, by the way, making Mayhem Mania matches in about 10 minutes. Is uh, it Batista? <laughs> um, Bray Wyatt. Whoa! Do I know? What? Not the fiend. That's the rumor. I'm intrigued. Yeah, Bray Wyatt or the fiend? The fiend. I'm intrigued. I, I am see not this match. because I don't want to see Goldberg with the universal title. Well, I want to see how many spears. Bray Wyatt I want to no see. Sell. Yeah, I want to see Bray no selling the jackhammer. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm okay. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm okay. I'm okay. Goldberg's vein in his neck might explode if like Bray just sits up after a jackhammer. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope Goldberg tries to ram his head into the Firefly Funhouse and just give him fucking guts. We did not talk about the XFL. What is our stance on the XFL? It's, on this it's show? starting up on Saturday, Woo! y'all. I don't know. Let's keep it coming. Team nine. Yeah. yeah. Go New York Guardians, I guess. <laughs> No, the Dragons. The Seattle, Seattle Dragons. Dragons. Want to get that t-shirt. I'm a Dragons fan. Go, I'm going go to Vipers. attempt to go. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to go to an XFL game this season. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's that's my goal. I Because I never got to go to one the first time I came around. I want to go to one. So I, this is a fun thing because I'm already – I got tickets for NXT in March. Uh, I'm going to the Wednesday night show. I need to see if there's an XFL game that drops in, in while I'm in town for one sword, of the teams. Sword. You need to get as close as possible seats. Is there one in Arizona? Right next day. Um, Does Phoenix have a team? Uh, I don't know. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll look at that. But... <clears throat> I can't wait for the Dallas Renegades to win a football championship so Jerry Jones has an aneurysm that they <laughs> hey. can't bring a championship home. That's me. What's that? What's that? And Mike is sad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? That makes me it make, makes it make. Well, it's gonna make Mike feel sad because he's not here in the studio. But our good friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza right up the streets here. Four locations, and of course, our unofficial campaign for them. So, wait, wait, wait. Um, yes, sir. Um, is this, is this, be, is this because you live with a teacher? <laughs> Yes. That you do this? What You're you, raising your hand again. This is Friday nights. This is Friday nights. I get oh, okay. beat on Thursday nights. I raise my hand on Friday nights. Oh, I see. I see. I can actually attest the slice on Broadway. Mm-hmm. I consume slice on Broadway pizza at the PNC Park location quite often, yes. and it is delicious. You get two slices and a drink for around ten and change. Mm-hmm. And the door kicks in quite well because when you go to Slice on Broadway, you <laughs> no, want to no, kick the no, door right no, open no, and tell them, Sorg no, sent me. No. Kiss the ring. <laughs> give me my perfect pepperoni pizza. The Podfather has sent me for a perfect pepperoni pizza. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Check them out. SliceonBroadway.com. I don't think I need to say any more. Uh, we got a message. Katie, you're going to hear from Katie and then uh, some more of our friends of the show including Brohemus, Sean Phoenix, and more uh, right after this. And then Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Shout out to the Mayhem Show. Welcome to the 700 Club. Welcome to the 700th Club with Sean Phoenix. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Welcome 
to the 700 Club from Lewis and Franklin. <laughs> this is the juggernaut John Roden. Just wanted to make a quick shout out to Sorg and the guys at the Wrestling Mayhem show on 700 episodes. Quite a feat. Here's the 700 more, guys. Keep moving forward. It is Wrestling Mayhem show number 700. Of course, uh, thank you so much, Rodin and uh, and Brohemoth and Sean Phoenix and Lewis the Nerd uh, for giving shout-outs. Thank you, everybody, that, that submitted those over the last couple of days here. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and, and 700, we made a lot of friends. A lot of very interesting friends. And enemies. <laughs> and enemies. <laughs> but, they're, uh, but they're all dead and gone. <laughs> Their bones have fit, built the foundation of this podcast. They have been buried by the pod father. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it is time for Mayhem Mania, and uh, presiding over Mayhem Mania is one mainstream Matt Carlins. Good evening. With another fantastic edition. Mainstream <laughs> Matt, are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you seem so. Ah, yeah, I'm thrilled. Ah, You're thrilled. I'm thrilled to have these two right yeah, here. Yeah, ah, 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 ah. yeah. Mainstream. The enthusiasm man. is so genuine. Mainstream. Man. I'm really feeling it. You know, it's not patronizing at all. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is Mayhem Mania. <laughs> you should wear uh, a hall every time. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment where we try to create the best WrestleMania card possible within the boundaries of our current reality sorg. That means everybody comes in their current physical, contractual, emotional, pharmacological, etc. state. Um, we have an eight-match card <laughs> that we have created tonight. Five players will make one change each to this mm -hmm. card mm -hmm. and try to make it better. Right, because WWE has like the deepest talent roster in history, so they should be able to make the greatest WrestleMania card in history. Right, right, right. right. So tonight's Here. players are going to be Brandon, Mad Mike, Tina, Chad the Shad, and Doc Remedy. Bats clean up. Right. Um, right. We'll recap the matches and then we will talk about Space Jail. Um, first of all, let's uh, run through these matches, Sorgi. Uh, so far, we've got the Velveteen Dream versus our Truth. We've got here. I'll hold up the. Sorry, sorry. I didn't have no, 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 I didn't okay. have the thing prepared. No, that's no, okay. I thought I forgot that you had okay. a thing. We've and, got, uh, and I don't even remember who's created these things either. Uh, we've got Mia Yim and Kaylee oh, Ray and Tegan Knox versus Asuka and Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai. We've got Walter versus Keith Lee. We've got Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. We have got Edge. And Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins oh, versus the yeah. OC. <laughs> We've got DIY versus the Time Splitters versus the Viking Raiders. We have Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor versus Adam Cole. And finally, we have Andrade versus Aleister Black versus Pete Dunn or Dune, depending Pete on where you're Dune. from. <laughs> Um, Matt, I have well, a question. We might have a last minute substitution, but we'll see how that yeah, works. Yeah, working out. on it. Working on it. Um, go ahead, Mad Mike. Um, is Andrade disqualified now because of his suspension? No, it's only a 30 day suspension. He'll be back in okay. time for Mania. Same also, with Samoa uh, Joe. You know, he's not officially out. I'm going to leave it open for him. Okay. Also, there's been a lot of discussion about AJ Styles' uh, shoulder injury. Uh, WWE said he's out indefinitely. AJ said four to six weeks. So until we get something definitive, I'm just going to leave him on the card and we'll let nature take its course. You know, eh, the Mayhem Mania players have a way of fixing these problems life, on their own. Life finds a way. Life finds a way, right. Sorg. So. Mayhem finds a, finds a way. And we haven't even talked about Io Shirai apparently is hurt too. I have no really? idea. She's on this card too. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, mm. she's name boy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So space jail. So we do this thing where we uh, give people an opportunity to eliminate people from mayhem mania, mm -hmm. uh, so they can't be used. That's what we've done in years past, and they'd be permanently banished. But this year we put a twist on it. We are giving the people who are banished an opportunity to uh, escape and um, get back into the game. So every single of the eight things, I have to say things because. It's not. It's seven people in one items. thing. Yeah, yeah, and one item that have been sent to space jail, uh, sent through the forbidden portal into space jail, and now, um, in a moment, I'll spin this wheel and we'll see if anyone escaped. The uh, items and people on the space jail in space jail right now: Enzo, Ronda Rousey, Triple H, Bailey, Bobby Fish, WLC, Lacey Evans, 
Randy Orton. Randall. Did I mention Enzo yet? All right. So last week, um, Tina Keys had earned a uh, a ticket to space jail. She gave it to John Cena. We spin the wheel. It landed on John Cena. John Cena escaped space jail. He Typical. was in there for two minutes. Typical Barely. Cena. Typical Cena. God damn, Kicking he out. kicks out of everything. Yeah, uh, stop Cena. All right. So let's he's, a, he's in Fast and Furious now. He's basically a superhero. Yeah, basically. He's a heel. All right, so let's uh, let's spin the wheel. Let's see if anyone will escape space jail tonight. Are you ready, Sorg? I'm ready. Let's do it. Come on, Enzo. Oh. Enzo, Enzo, Enzo. I love that noise. Wait Bobby a second. No. Oh, my God. Bobby no. Fish is out of space jail. No. Damn it. No. Damn it. No. Come on. The fish is we back in the water, baby. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> I need to collect myself now. You would need to collect yourself. This is space jail sucks, man. We need a new warden for space jail. Everyone's oh. getting out. God. Man. Well, congratulations. Bobby Fish, you're out of space jail. Of a bitch. Bobby. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. All right. Um... Fuck. <laughs> that really, that really cut Sorg deep. <laughs> it really did. Sorg, Fuck. Show, show me on the doll where Bobby Fish touched you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it hurt you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's get down to business. Um, our friend Brandon from uh, KC is uh, apparently still celebrating the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, so he has uh, DM'd me his uh, move, and uh, his move is that he is getting rid of. Uh, the edge heads versus the OC. You know, oh, you we shouldn't damn. allow moves by DMA. And um, he's going to replace it with, um, this is kind of interesting. He wants a triple threat match, wouldn't you know? The Miz versus John Morrison. Triple oh, threat mania. Versus, kind of random, Ricochet. Okay. Mm. So there you go. There's his match. Um, All right. All right. Sorg, did we find Dave Podner by chance? Yes, he's in there. Is he in there? Bring him in here. Mad Mike, I'm sorry to explain this to you, but uh, I think you'll understand this. Mad Mike, I can't let you on. That would be three moves in a row, three weeks in a row, so I can't let you on. Get out of here. We found Dave Podner. He's going to make a move. There he is. Dave Podner. There I am. I am. What's happening? Wow. In the the deep darkness. The deep darkness. Cashing in, run in style. He just... (laughs) Mad Mike was the number thirty entrant in the Royal Rumble, Rumble and Nia Jax came out of nowhere and just bonked him over the head. And she got herself. Collusion. So she's in. collusion. That's collusion. That is collusion. Okay. You're exactly right. Yep. You're right. Collusion. And and collusion. unfair. And I'm picking on you. And I'm singling you out, Mad Mike. Yes, that's right. Yeah, in 2020, what what a great down. message for the kids. What a great Matt. message. For the kids. You know what I'm going to teach the kids? Um, I make the rules. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Who's, uh, who's, wow. Who's house? Okay. Whose house is it, Big okay. Daddy Matt? Whose house? Your house, Sorg. It's your house. Everyone knows that. It's the Podfather's house. He's the Podfather. Um, all right, Dave. Uh, let's make okay. a change to this card. Wow. Okay. He, uh, now, since I was last minute running, wow. as usual, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Wow. So, Matt, if, wow. if, if, Matt, if you just hold up, if you hold up the card a little bit so I can just keep myself this there. Matt okay. is not even prepared, Matt. No, no, no. I, I'm prepared, you know, but I'm not that prepared. Like we but... don't have wonderful write-ups on our website that Matt With goes graphics. through painstakingly. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Catch graphics, up on the lore. By Tony Garza right. of the Wrestling Revolution dot net. Yes. Dot com dot net. We never know. Yes. Yeah, we got all okay. the lore on there. We never know. Okay. I, I think he changes it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Doc Pizza was right. Oh, gee. Dave, you know. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, Dave, you may I'm have going to get rid of me today. Quiet, he speaks. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting rid of DIY versus time slitters versus Viking Raiders. Okay. 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 Just... Too, too many. As I and I'm, I'm agreeing with the one person who, who time I forget who it was, saying we have too many multi everything. I believe it was Marcus. I Mann. believe that's Marcus okay. Mann criticizing like, like, our yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A week yes. after he no showed mayhem. May- that right, was anyway. the show he should have wow. been here for. I know. So, I'm going to have a mix up of teams match. Oh, so oh, you're, okay. you're so you're putting in another multi person match. Well, no, it's a tag team match. <laughs> All it's right, a straight it. two-person versus two-person tag team match. We know how. But I'm assuming. <laughs> well, I realize that, but I'm assuming that, that. But I'm actually doing something off of the current storyline. All right, let's hear it. Okay. So, a team of Mandy and Otis. Oh, oh here we go. Versus Sonya yeah. and Tucker. Oh I'm in. boy! I love it. 
Oh, yeah. heavy fire versus desire <laughs> machinery. Uh, exactly. Oh no! Exactly. Wait, oh, wait, that is the, love, that love, is the love, nickname Mandy. for the Mandy heavy, and his tag heavy team is heavy desire fire, right? Versus fire machinery. Yeah. That that's that's good. Ooh, wow. yeah, I dig that's it. Good. I love. I, I assume oh, Otis is the heavy. Good match. Guy. All right. <laughs> Dave, thanks for um, thanks for coming in. Is there anything else you want to yeah, say? Well, I give you the floor. Thanks, here, you know. Dave. Thanks, Dave. God. No, no. Thanks for thanks for the invite. Yeah, sure, no problem. <sighs> All right. So uh, that brings us to Tina, the Dragon, <laughs> Tina Keys. <laughs> Is that hello, right? Hello. Did I get that right? All right. The mother of dragons. Mother of dragons. Mother of dragons. Mother of dragons. Tina, how are you? I'm okay. Um. I kind of, I'm kind of disappointed because one of the participants that I wanted from a match got taken already. Oh, Me too. Man. Me oh, too. I hate it when that happens. Me too. I feel you. <clears throat> so you got to go to your one B. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I'm going to. Get rid of the match that was just made by Dave. <gasps> what? Oh. What? Oh. Sorry. Alex Carr's rule. Hate, hate, hate. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Dave. Dave's made two powerful enemies now. <laughs> Oh, um, so say when, Tina, when Tina said geez, one was yes. taken, I'm thinking, oh, how many people did I piss off tonight? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't you. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and, and go for somebody who um, isn't really all that known, but it's still cool to see. Um, he's all about high dives. I'm sorry, high fives and stage dives. Mm. Mark Andrews. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Um, let me. John or not? No. Okay. Andrews. Okay. Um. Drake Mavericks. <laughs> no. No help from the studio audience. <laughs> Give she us, must, us a no, 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 no. She must. Action. You know the rules for Mayhem Mania. All the players they must walk alone. I walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Andrews and Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio! Oh. Who's that jumping out the sky? Are you why? All right. Booyaka, booyaka. Six one nine. Booyaka, booyaka. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm running out of room here. <laughs> Apparently, thing. Garza has been posting on an old episode thinking it was live. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Garza. Oh, no. Kind of Garza run in here and do a I saw the tag and I'm like, why am I not seeing this in the chat room? <laughs> Garza's watching it thinking, this is going to be an easy week. I don't have to make any new graphics. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, here we go. All right, Chad the Shad. Wow. <clears throat> the headset wearing, clipboard carrying. <sighs> First string, second string, so, backup Mayhem Mania host, Chad the Shad. There's been a lot of shakeups and stuff on here. Yeah. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Why is, there, why is everybody looking outside? I just saw a car pulled up and I just assume it's Larry and I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Let's. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Oh boy! Any, any wrestlers you like, Chad? Do you like any wrestlers? Do you like yeah. any? There are any a few. And There's one a few. Seems to be released to the board as of ten minutes ago. There is, and yeah. I had see like you I want had to hold a, this up for you. This is just kind of all like the this, the massive scribbles and the. I had a plan, and then hard I hard to make out. And then I had to alter the plan, and then I had another plan, and okay. then so we're just so gonna, you're down to like. Plan C. Yeah, I got two I'm teetering on, but I think I'm gonna go with uh let's let's take uh Dream and Truth out. Oh okay. Because Truth's gonna be wrestling Almost. backstage you know, everywhere. Oh, and man. let's oh, then you let's know, you know sorry to interrupt, but you know that that twenty four seven championship is changing hands in that big ass pirate ship. I Zane yeah. is going to yeah. ride to the ring. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm yeah, honestly like surprised it didn't change like hands at the Super yeah. Bowl. So we're going to put in its place um, 
Edge. Shocker. Who? Wait. <laughs> Did he just cancel that match out? Because Edge is in one. Edge. No, no. no Edge, Edge has been released. Got rid of the Edge match. Oh. Versus um, Matt Riddle. Bro. Ooh. Ooh. I like okay. It. I like it. Because I think okay. that's a nice clash of former Edge <laughs> versus <laughs> current Edge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, like former, former uh, I'm MMA trained Edge versus... Uh, is it going to be like dad, son, bro? <laughs> He's going to be like, bro. yeah. Bro. Like, um, <clears throat> all right. Thanks, Chad. This is very nice and it's totally unexpected that you would choose to use that. So. Yes, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I am full of surprises. <laughs> all Spirit. right. Doc Spirit. Remedy. What you feeling? I know you have strong feelings. I do. Yeah. So help me God, I you take don't edge like a certain you. wrestler. Actually, there's two wrestlers on that list that are in the bottom five of wrestlers. Bottom wow. five. Wow. Ever or bottom now? Five. Currently. 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 Yeah. And I don't want to hurt my former tag team partner. Oh, no. So I will kill the Andrade Black Dune match. Ma. Whoa! Because Dude. I do not like Alistair Black. <gasps> wow! What? Wow! Oh, wow. Also, don't like Matt Riddle, right? I hate Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> That's why I pick him. Remedy, I'm with you. I'm not I a huge it. Riddle fan, but I think Edge Riddle would I be pretty good. I don't know how good. Space Jail works yet. I was gonna do everything in my power to get <laughs> Matt Riddle in Space Jail. Um, I want to replace it with our reigning. Defend. Defending. Wow. All hail King Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> Super wow. Bowl champ loving. Versus the undisputed. Oh boy. The greatest. All hail King Booker. Whoa. I'm in. <laughs> All right. All it's right. a game <laughs> of All thrones. Right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. King okay. Corbin versus King Corbin former versus... king Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Special guest referee Jerry Special Lawler. Special guest referee. That's, That's later. later. That's later. That, that comes later. I'll take that. I'll Patreon take in the that. bank. Good reminder. Since this is a 700 Club episode, send your donations to the Patreon. <laughs> from Ashling Mayhem Show. You too can play Patreon in the bank and all your dreams can come true. Mm -hmm. For yes. a small donation. For a small you donation. And we'll send you a tiny little piece of paper i don't know what we're there doing. are many dead presidents that would love to be part of the wrestling mayhem show <laughs> send them <laughs> our way all right hey um is dave still there yeah still here dave congratulations by virtue i have alex, alex cars. cars rule you are invited back next week and you will have the fifth and final spot he to make your move it. Since <laughs> Tina, you did this on purpose. The Dragon Slayer he came in and just rode in on her dragon and just firebombed so your whole match. What? That it would be cut. His Two weeks ago, I okay. made the bad match. They got cut. Oh, anyway, right. You mean the, the one I made today? Because yeah. both my matches got cut. I think yeah. we've proven over the years of Mayhem Mania that the I'm going to do a bad match strategy and try to get killed so I can take advantage of Alex Cars rule. That's a, that's a faulty strategy. That's, that's one you know. of the best the Alex, strategies. The Alex Cars rule is just because <laughs> it, it goes inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's what we got on the, uh, it's a reverse strategy. Thing. Edge versus Matt Riddle. Uh, we still got Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray and Tegan Knox versus, uh, the sky pirates. We still have Walter versus Keith Lee. We still have Charlotte mm. versus Rhea Ripley. We now have the Miz and, Versus John Morrison versus Ricochet. We now have Mark Andrews versus Rey Mysterio. Uh, we still have Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor versus Adam Cole. And now we have King Corbin versus King Booker. <laughs> I get it. And Bobby Fish is out of space, Joe. Back son to you. A, son of a bitch. Stay tuned for. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned, stay tuned for <laughs> talking mayhem mania. <laughs> son of a bitch. Damn. The spacing on your shot is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, I have yeah. a quick question. Yeah. What are we going to do if you spin every week and every week someone gets out of space? Gym? We're just going to have to find ways to repopulate space. Gym. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm have to tear this what thing are you up doing here. over there? 
You've been wait. What are you doing with this sign? No matter where you're from, we're glad you're our neighbor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Send dead presidents to <laughs> the Wrestling Mayhem oh. Show. Support. Despite Public all the broadcasting. Anger Us. and vitriol you hear towards. Is it vitriol? Vitriol. 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 Are you trying to say Vimmel? No. <laughs> Sorg is very angry that Bobby Fish is out of space jail. No matter how much <laughs> fucking and anger that comes out of Sorg's mouth. Fucking. <laughs> no matter where you're from, we're glad you're our neighbor. <laughs> we're glad you're. I would you're... attempt to speak the other languages, but I would not do them justice. We're so glad they say the same. I, I could do the Spanish one, probably. You're. We're glad you're a fish in our pond. Bobby <laughs> <laughs> Fish. I had to. I had to. Really Robert re- Fish. I had to really refrain from adding Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy is one of my favorite. Mm-hmm. Top five. Matt Riddle, bottom five. Top, bottom <laughs> five, top five. So we know how, we know how that works. That's my barometer. That's the Dark Remedy barometer of current WWE Super. Wait, Super wait. Who, who else is in the bottom five? Um, Matt Riddle. Okay. Riddle Matt. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh. No. Uh, let's see. That's a fun thing to think of. So definitely Matt Riddle. Definitely Aleister Black. Hmm. Mm. Uh, all three of the Forgotten Sons. Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Solid. Wow. Way, way to fill that out. Yeah. <laughs> Solid. Top Jeez. five. Top Keith five. Lee, number one. Keith Lee, Limitless. Brock Lesnar. Uh, no. <laughs> He's in the middle. Especially after the Rumble, Brock Lesnar's in the middle. He, he, his, his power reaction, rankings, his power rankings yeah. went up after the Royal Rumble. At, his reaction to Keith Lee was spectacular. Yes. He's like, oh, big boy. And then mm-hmm. looked at Paul Heyman was like, this motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, way to put over Keith Lee. Um, Keith Lee, Buddy Murphy. Uh, uh, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, yes. Um, and the Iconics. S- Selena Vega. Nah, the Iconics. <laughs> oh, the Iconics. The Iconics yeah. will be in my top five. Correct. All right. Well, in that note... Uh, we seem to do this every year. What did you guys learn in 700 episodes? Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Um, talk to strangers on the internet. It can vastly improve your life. <laughs> there you go. There you, there you go. Uh, Dave, you got one? No matter where you are from, <laughs> we're glad you're our neighbor. Hey, that actually fits us. Right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What about you, uh, uh, Matt? I learned that uh, when you search for a podcast randomly, maybe like seven or eight years ago, you never know. It might just be based here in Pittsburgh, and you might actually meet those people someday. So it's crazy how that works. And you may host a segment. And you it. may host a segment. And, and you may all, end up hosting the show. You know what else I learned? If you come up with a good bit for a podcast, they'll make you come back every year to do it over <laughs> and over and over again. Make, they'll highly suggest in a friendly manner. You wouldn't want to disappoint the podfather, would you? Jeez. I'm gonna keep on doing it until it's dead. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait until Matt like decides it's not enough and try and decides to do uh, making Survivor Series, Mayhem Survivor Series, where we all just make teams of four. I, I really. I, wanna... I mean, that sounds delightful, Ooh. but I, this really requires a full year of recuperation. Whenever I get done with it, he does. He does. So I want to see wanna... the the indie wrestling or the indie Mayhem. Oh yeah, mania. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, there was actually, super there, indie there was mayhem a, mania. We've come, Listen, we've come perilously close to that breaking out a couple times. So there yeah. was a gift generator I saw where it was two randomly flashing images of a whole bunch of indie stars, and if you stopped it, it would be whatever your WrestleMania main event was. Uh, El Paso. I got I got um, Danhausen versus Faye Jackson. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, no cursing. <laughs> Very uh, interesting. Okay. No yeah. cursing. Uh, Hell Paso in the chat says, I, I second that last part. I think the recovery part. <laughs> so Yeah, I know. It's like, well, it's always like every year I'm like, because Garza makes these you know, awesome graphics. And every yeah, year I'm yeah. like, Garza, you, you want, yeah. are you back this year? Are you going to back in? He's like, yeah, I'm back. I'm like, all right, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to back like, in? One I'm last thinking time. I'm back. I think I'm back in. Because you know you're not allowed to leave. I, so. I, I saw somebody somebody criticizing the three-way matches and, and some of the, 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 the 
graffiti splatter graphics and I was I almost started a Facebook war with them. If you criticize like, you the graphics that Garza makes, I not. will go he to a, war like, with oh, you. These yeah. are great Gorgeous. graphics. And go to and actually afterwards I put the plug in. The for graphics website. are gorgeous. <laughs> the matches are questionable. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's right. the whole yeah. bit. That, yeah. That's it. That's <laughs> mayhem. Mania. Yeah. Mania. Yeah. Great graphics, questionable matches. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have a new slogan. Yeah. Hurt for feelings. This. You better be careful because Sorgal Bart start booking your life and he buries people. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see the uh, the Podfather puts some six <laughs> layers deep into Pod Talk Show. Every mm. match is a buried alive match. <laughs> Tina, do you have an answer to this question? <laughs> what have um, you learned? Uh, on a personal note, I guess I it's refreshing to see a wrestling podcast that's inclusive. If that makes sense, we try. We try. But usually ends up being a lot of white guys, we, but we try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I, I believe Vimmel said there were a lot of peepees in here. <laughs> oh, I thought he was talking about his practice. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh. I thought he was talking about. His, I thought, like I thought he was just talking about his practice. Like he I thought he meant he was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he was. Where's the which, Where's the which... Simpsons Arnold thing? That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a lot, of, a lot left of interpretation over the internet, okay? <laughs> so, um, and sometimes I can't read his accent. I've <laughs> I've learned that Edge what is that <laughs> Edge is a common place through this this whole show. Yes, from episode <laughs> one Multiple. to episode seven hundred, he's always been with us. Partner. Well, um. Ugh. In terms of, not, let's say, branching out more than just the show itself, but in terms of wrestling podcasts in general, go out and reach out and listen to some uh, some people maybe doesn't don't sound like you, if that sounds good, too. Um, being an old white guy, there's a whole bunch of old white guys out there talking wrestling, and it's good to hear people who aren't other old white guys talk about wrestling. Tim Cornett. <coughs> So Dave is saying he starts. No, 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 I'm back. I, I, no, no, I'm but I'm but kidding. I know, I know, but it, it, it's kind of like no, I don't hate myself, but there's too many people who look and sound like me out there talking about stuff that I want to hear people who aren't kind of looking and talking like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> Um, geez, what did I learn from 700? Uh, I, I, it's, I, I, I I've learned how to endure. <laughs> <laughs> He's learned how to outlive his enemies. <laughs> that's, that's what he means. That's the key. Uh, I, there, there was a, cause, uh, there, there was, there, it's been a little bit of a uh, uh, thought about like, oh shit, we're doing, still doing this. Why are we still doing this? I mean, obviously it's you guys <laughs> popping up in chat with Tina's and Dave's and, Brandon's and, and, and everything. What's going on over there? <laughs> they're, they're, they're plotting something over there. But uh, but but seriously, like it, it's 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 you know that's been a motivation. And there's a lot of times where I've questioned this show and whether we should still keep going with everything going on. I mean, this is not a cornerstone money maker of the business or anything like that. This is and, and I've often said. If everything falls apart tomorrow with the studio and, and everything, I'll still be in my basement doing this show, and I hope you guys still come down there. Uh, we got so, 300 more to 1,000, so. That's right. That's right. Strap so. on in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or no, die. No intention. <laughs> you know, for the 1,000th episode, we should just replay episode one. <laughs> You don't have it anymore. We should me, we should re renumbering it's somewhere. Just we should reenact re it in a stage play. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Well, that's the inevitable reboot. Oh yes, we should do it. Yes, we recast it with younger, more diverse <laughs> uh, <laughs> casting. Wait, we're gonna reboot, reboot, reboot. So Doc into Re the mayhem verse. Doc Remedy's a girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in into the mayhem verse. Yes. That'd be great. There you go. If they can do it with Sherlock, why not Doc Remedy? Right. Or I guess that was Watson. Sherlock Watson. Remedy. She Done. Was awesome. Lucy Lou was awesome as Watson. I loved that show. I watched all of Elementary. I really liked it. Yeah, and the guy from Hackers. I didn't know that. I never saw Hackers. Well, he didn't have an accent in Hackers. Mm. 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 So mm. when you said you must endure, and that's what I was telling Chad over here, the 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 scene that played out in my head <laughs> no. was the Dark Knight Rises scene with 
uh, Michael Caine <laughs> or Alfred and Bruce Wayne. <laughs> And but you were Bruce Wayne, and producer Missy was Alfred, and you were like, "What do we have to do?" And producer Missy was like, "You must endure." <laughs> and then you go kick With other podcast podcasters ass. Because you're kill them your, all. Because your podcast Batman sword. Yeah, yeah. Podcast Batman. <laughs> podcast Batman yeah. now. I like that better That'll than the Podfather now. The, be, yeah, we're gonna shine yeah. a signal on the back now. Odd night. Yeah, there'll yeah. be the Podfather, and then. The, the image SM of a microphone. Sorgatron Media in a spotlight underneath of it. <laughs> 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 Is that an Allegheny <laughs> General <laughs> podcast? <laughs> 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 what is the clearance I need? I need to check with my landlord and see if we can put a spotlight on the top of the studio. <laughs> Every UPMC. Tuesday night it goes <laughs> off. <and people> just <laughs> UPMC. <walk in. laughs> what was that, Mike? I'm the king of Pittsburgh. <laughs> what was that, Mike? Every Tuesday night, the, the spotlight just goes off and people flock to be on the air. <laughs> the, wow. The Bayer sign on Mount Washington says Sorgatron Media. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. Uh, I'm going to start looking into that that's the next. That's the next goal, isn't it? Hey, if Sprint can get it, maybe we can. Peduto's looking for you. I hope he comes. Hey, Peduto's. <laughs> Peduto. Do you have a giant floodlight for sale on Etsy? Floodlight on Etsy. <laughs> Just on top of PPG. Yeah. Oh, I hope the Podfather gets here. <laughs> the oh. funny thing is, you've 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 run in the same circles as. So, yeah, no, he <laughs> came to Chachi Plays while he was running for mayor, and uh, and donated to Chachi Plays. That's because he knows yeah. you as as Michael, not. The, the, <laughs> He doesn't know, it's because he doesn't. It's because he doesn't know what you're capable of, Sorg. Oh yeah, he, he's been to the pod camp. He knows what we're capable of. <laughs> so how many other podcasts? I think are still <laughs> <a> pod camp? <laughs> Cleaned it out. Is that is that really is pod camp just a trap for you to destroy <laughs> other <laughs> other podcasts? <laughs> pod camp is just a way for you. Him to you find lure them enemy. in and see which ones are a threat, and then you neutralize them. <laughs> Uh, I, I see now. You, you're you've been the hero long enough that you are now the villain. <laughs> at episode seven hundred, I understand, Sork. Should I drink that? It's not around anymore. Yeah. So oh. I just had enough of Father Spoon and just put an end to that. <laughs> Jeez, Sork. That man this. has kids. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you very much. It's been seven hundred episodes. Thank you, Doc Remedy, for coming back. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Chad the Shad. Thank you. Mainstream Matt, with your wildly popular segment you bring back once a year. It's all for you, Sorgi. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mad Mike. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Ziggy Haim. What? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, support Ziggy Haim. So uh, uh, it was just the dog just came back from... Uh, We're helping puppies. We're Buy a shirt help. and help a puppy. Yeah, it's for the puppies. Thank you, Tina, for dropping in again. Actual dogs. Thank you. Let us know how that XFL game goes. I will certainly Sweet. and um, NXT takeover too as well. Fantastic, Hello. fantastic, and I'm thank happy. you, Dave Podner. Oh, thanks so much for having me on, guys. All right, and thank you. Well, you guys are making hand signs again. You gotta watch the hand signs Viper. in this go, open go, window. Go dragons, this is my Seattle. Yeah. Oh, is that what sign. that is? Yeah, go dragons. <laughs> By the way, it is pointing <laughs> season, and we got the sign. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time to seven hundred more. Oh, that's a lot. To 700 more. To 700 more. <laughs> hear, hear. All hail Enough. King Podfather. <laughs> oh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.